is a yardstick. Or if you prefer metric, it's a meter stick. If you prefer vertical, well, uh, it's still one or the other. But technically, it's not a true yardstick. Because the yard ends right here. And a meter is about three inches longer. Or eight and a half centimeters. So on a yardstick, or in a yard, there's three feet. And feet are divided into inches, 36 inches. And each inch from there is divided half, quarter, eighth, and sixteenth on this. And some of them go down to even the sixty-fourth. So very, very tiny measurements. On the meter part of it, they're separated into centimeters. And centi meaning 100. There's 100 centimeters in a meter. And then it's divided again into millimeters. And a milli being a thousand, there's a thousand millimeters in a meter. Useless information for those who don't care. So, but what we can do with this is measure different things. And depending on the length of what it is you're measuring, then the larger your, your measurement will go. So if you have something that's really long, you're not going to measure it in eighths of an inch or even inches. You'll go up to a foot. 12 inches and a foot. So, with the metric system, uh, there's really nothing in between. Uh, technically, there's a, a, a decameter, which is 10 centimeters. I don't know anybody that uses that. So, it's centimeters, and if you get anything long, then you get measured in meters, and then goes up to kilometers, which is a thousand or thousand meters. <sighs> this is Canada. We use the metric system. At least we're supposed to. Not everybody does. I myself, I mix. Uh, depending on what it is. Inside the house. Room temperature is 72 degrees Fahrenheit. I have no idea what that is in Celsius. Water boils at 100, 100 degrees. <laughs> I can't speak. Water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Water freezes at zero. That one I know, 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, outside the house, air temperature, I go by Celsius. Uh, unless it's pool water, I prefer water to be 84 degrees Fahrenheit minimum. So it, it just depends on the situation. And yeah, <laughs> for someone who doesn't know the metric system, it could be confusing. Uh, if we get 100 millimeters of rain, people hear 100, it's like, holy crap, that's a lot. You know, and then you look at looking at it. 100 millimeters is only right there. Mind you, that's, that's a lot of rain anyways. Uh, the flooding that we got in 2017, some place has got 170 millimeters of rain. That's a lot. <laughs> that's like seven inches of rain. And yeah, looking at that, I say, well, that's not today. I walk through water that deep all the time. But when you think about it, 170 millimeters of rain, that much water everywhere. And a lot of that came within three to five hours. So you get all this water, and the water right at the river level goes to the Everything makes its way downhill, and whatever's closest to the water is going to be there already. And then gradually over the next little while, everything uphill is going to work its way down. That's why we get a rainstorm that lasts an hour or two, and then the river swell up. The rivers will be up for hours, that's why, because all that water uphill is still making its way down. And that's, that's a crap load of water. <laughs> so even 50 millimeters, which is that much right there, below my finger, we get warnings for that amount of rain. So you can imagine 170, that's, that's, that's a crap ton of, of rain. Um, other things that actually 
make use of the metric system but aren't actually metric. I uh, start going voltage. Voltage is not metric. Um, resistance, capacitance, anything electric. Watts. Uh, amps. <laughs> not metric, but it makes use of metric. When you get down to the little tiny little little measurements, it goes into milli. So we get milliamps, millivolts, which is one thousandth of a volt, which is very tiny. So different things make make use of the metric system. And time itself, time is not metric. You get one year, which is the amount of time it takes the Earth to rotate around the Sun. One day. The Earth rotates it's around itself, and hours, which is, I don't know where they come up with the 24, but 24 hours in that one uh, cycle, none of that is metric. But then the hours is broken down into 60 minutes, again, I don't know where the 60 comes from, <laughs> and then the minutes are broken down into 60 seconds. None of that is metric, but once you get less than a second, it goes metric. So you get a millisecond, which is a thousandth of a second, which is very, very, very quick. So time and distance can also be mixed. So uh, if you go miles per hour, kilometers per hour, one's metric, one's not. If you get really super long distances, then you have to measure with something even bigger. Miles and kilometers are too short. So then you get into light years, which is not metric. <laughs> a light year is kind of mind-blowing when you think about it, because light is super fast. I'm not sure what the exact speed is. But if you see a light way off in the distance, the moment that light comes on, you almost see it instantly. And a light year is the amount of distance that light will travel in a period of one year. That is a super long distance. That's, that's just, just mind-blowing. How do you measure that? So, anyways, I got, I got thinking about this. And why they use different measurements. We'll go with time. You get year, day, hour, minute, second. And then it goes into... In the, into metric so you get one second and you go down to millisecond well what if you want to measure in between so okay well we got 900 milliseconds so why can't you go any smaller like why is it I'm going the wrong direction with that I meant to go up not down so you got one second and then you got a minute and then an hour. Okay, so you got 60 and then 60. I hope I'm explaining that right. So you get thinking, well, what if there's no, something in between? You don't want to measure with 60. Well, why is there no centisecond? Why is there no 100 seconds? Now, you start off with metric. Uh, you got nanosecond, picosecond, millisecond. Actually, start, picosecond is very, very tiny. That's like one millionth. I think one millionth of a second, and then ugh, I could be wrong on that. You got picosecond, and then you got nanosecond. And nano, I think, is a million, and then millisecond, which is a thousand, then one second, and then it stops. No more metric. So why is there no centisecond? Why is there no one hundred seconds? I guess sixty close enough, right? But they just I don't I don't understand why some some things are metric, some things are not, and some things are mixed. It doesn't make any sense. But anyways, that's my interpretation of space and time and distance and volume even. Gallons, liters, milliliters. I had gallons I think can be divided into pints and then fluid ounces after that I don't know if there's anything 
smaller than that. I don't know if ounces are divided up. I'm not sure. The one thing I find confusing about the imperial system is ounces can be fluid ounces or it can be weight. Ounce and weight. And I'm really not sure how much an ounce weighs. Well, obviously an ounce weighs an ounce, but I mean, like to hold it in my hand, I couldn't tell you a lot about an ounce. And same with metric. I can't tell you what a gram feels like. Um, milligram, even smaller. And milligram is even used in liquids. I only know of one instance, and that is medication. Um, other than that, liquids are usually liters in metric anyways. But as far as weight goes, um, everything's based on the gram. So we get milligram, we go up the other way, we get gram, kilogram, which is <laughs> a thousand grams. I don't think there's anything in between. There's no centigram. <laughs> so, and then we get metric ton, which is different than an imperial ton. I don't know. It's, it's confusing. But like I say, Canada is metric. It's not always used. Uh, most people don't even use it completely all the time. Uh, metric system came in early 70s. I think 1972, 1973. In which case I was six or seven years old at the time. So I, I, I grew up with the metric system. Why I don't always use it, I don't know. Uh, when, when I was in high school, late high school I think it was, I was working at a lumber yard. It was always feet and inches that we dealt with. Never dealt with centimeters or meters or millimeters. I, I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of weird. Just one of those things I guess. Just to make life confusing. <laughs> but when I make my videos, I whatever it is I'm talking about, and then I'll convert it, put the conversion on the screen for those who don't use one system and use the other, or vice versa, vice versa. And I just, I just make it easier, so you know what I'm talking about. And when I say 100 millimeters, you know exactly how much 100 millimeters is. <laughs> and not freak out thinking it's a whole lot. So I remember watching one time um, I want your weather map. If it's Canadian weather, the entire map should be Celsius. If it's U.S. weather, the entire map should be Fahrenheit. I don't get why they split them. So I, I saw a joke one time. Somebody showed a, a weather map. And the guy was explaining what the temperatures were. In the U.S., it was Fahrenheit. And then in Canada, it was Celsius on the same map. So... Unless you're watching from the country that you're interested in, if you want to travel to, you know, the other country, you're going on vacation or whatever, you want to see what the forecast is. It's you, you have no idea because it's completely different. And I remember the joke. Somebody saying, you know, I was like, wow, look at that. The temperature really does drop when you cross the border, right? <laughs> Talking about when you go into Canada, because it, it's amazing. I don't know if it's still, but it was amazing the number of people that come to Canada in the summertime expecting to go skiing right because they, they get the impression that Canada is winter all the time and that's, that's just not the case and the same same with you know Canadians going to US I would imagine you know going down there and expecting you know hot summer temperatures and in the in the winter um, that's not always the case either because Texas can get snow every year. It's just you just never know. And even in summer, we're not guaranteed summer weather here. My birthday is at the end of June, and I don't remember what year it was, but we had snow 
at the end of June. Nothing accumulating on the ground, but it was cold. And there was snow falling from the sky on my birthday. I was not impressed by that. <laughs> I don't remember when that was, but that was a long time ago. I was still living with my parents, so... At least... At least 35 years ago. But, uh, that's... And thankfully that's only happened once. Well, we've had cold summers. But I only ever remember snow once in June. In a June anyway, so... Hopefully I never see that again. <laughs> so anyways, that's my explanation of the meter stick. Or the yard stick. Or, if you speak French, it's in metric. So, that's kind of interesting, because this is made in the U.S. Yeah, made in USA by Benchmark. But they've got metric conversion on here, and they've even got French. So we got volume in English, volume in French, length in English, length in French. So it just kind of gives you conversion, so if you have... Okay. So if you have gallons and you want to find out how many liters it is, it tells you... But I just realized there's imperial, gal imperial, <laughs> imperial gallons and gallons. I didn't know there was two types of gallons, and there's quarts, pints, fluid ounces. So if you have an imperial... imperial <laughs> Why do I have a problem with that word? Imperial gallon and you multiply it by 4.55 times and that tells you how many liters it is. And a regular gallon, whatever the difference is, 3.78 liters. One quart is 0.95 liters, one pint is 0.47, and one fluid ounce is 29.57 liters. So there's 29 and a half liters in a fluid ounce. That doesn't sound right to me. That looks like 29.75 to me, or 57. Where did it go? Oh, that's milliliters. Okay. So they stay. <laughs> They switched the scale on me. Messed me up. Anyways, that's all I got. <laughs>